Good afternoon. My name is Nigel Chadwick. I'm CEO and uh, founder of Stream Technologies. We're about globalizing IoT connectivity, simplifying connectivity, and an IoT triple play. Now think about the IoT triple play. That means cellular, satellite, and low-power wide area network, not only in providing these technologies for connecting devices, but enabling connectivity. So enabling connectivity by other organizations across these three wireless protocols. The company is still privately owned. We started it in 2000. We've got offices in London, Glasgow, and Dallas, and we have 32 people. Now, you've probably all heard about IoT. You're probably sick to death of IoT, platform this, platform that. But data is the new oil, and IoT is widely recognized as the next industrial revolution. Some of the statistics that the analysts are throwing around, 2016, $160 billion market, projected to be 66 billion by 2021. Moving from 6 billion total IoT connections now to 20 to 30 or even 40 billion connections by 2021. Our own metrics are trending these in terms of the amount of data and the amount of connections we're actually enabling out there. So we fully believe that now is a crossroads and the inflection point in terms of growth, true growth towards these billions of connections. And we believe that our technology, our software, is enabling this to bring down the total cost of ownership. So what's the big problem? Why do I talk about connectivity platforms? Well, actually, there's only about half a dozen platforms that deal with connectivity in the world today. Um, and let's just take one example. That's the connected car sector. It's a real problem for car manufacturers trying to go global. There's a geographic patchwork of mobile network operators to kick off with, 400 plus mobile network operators across the world. Not just that, then you've got cellular satellite and low power wide area networks competing for connectivity. You've got multiple non-private backhaul data routes. So where's the data going? Where's it being transferred? Is it going in and out of this country or that country? And there's a variety of platforms in use out there as well. Many of them leg legacy platforms, many of them difficult to use, not integrated. That's just the car sector. We've got lots and lots of sectors. There's practically no part of our lives that IoT is not going to be connecting with and impacting upon over the next few years, if not now. Not to say the least smart cities, smart meters, assisted living, healthcare, etc. So Stream, I said it earlier, we're about a triple play, cellular, satellite, and low power wide area, overlaying all these technologies with the IoT X connectivity platform. We manage, we monitor, and we monetize connectivity. How do we stack up against the competitors? Table here shows some of the key competitors, uh, Jasper Cisco. Jasper was bought, by the way, by Cisco in Q1 of this year for over two, over two about one point, sorry, $1.4 billion. Actually, sorry, it was $2.4 billion. It was a big number. Um, it's cellular only. Ericsson Connection is cellular only. IoTX, we differentiate across APIs with a triple play. We're enabling lower networks, and this is fundamentally important going forward as well. We're software defined, and we're building in predictive analytics into it in terms of device network performance. It has been recognized as innovative and disruptive by ABI and Frost and Sullivan, and we're Again, increasing adoption around the world with Digicel, Clear Channel, Safran, Morpho being some of the adopters. Our revenue growth, currently we're running at $10 million for about this year. We expect it to be moving to about $50 million over the next four, four years. And how are we going to do that? Well, 4G's just arrived. We're opening for the first time in the US on LTE within weeks. It's going to move to 5G, so big, juicy data, big margins, a lot of data being pushed through those pipes. There's the embedded SIM on a chip. One SIM, electronic component, anywhere in the world it will work. There's globalization of the lower network deployments. Uh, currently, we're running about one web demo a day for our platform to enable lower networks to be deployed anywhere from the US right through to Australia. And we're signing up key strategic agreements that give us channel and technical collaborations to create a productized set that is truly strategic and truly unique. We've got global business opportunities derived from that, and we're also looking for technical collaboration with companies and organizations based out here in the Valley. These are my contact details. 
Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.